The new album from Lido is called Peter and it is awesome. Our own Bridget Honorado got a chance to talk to him about how his upbringing in Norway really influenced the material, how he's grown as an artist, and most importantly, what he has growing in his garden. How are you? Good, good. Everything's good. Um, where are you right now? Uh, I'm in LA. Nice. I'm in Miami. So pretty much the same. Uh, it's, it's, it's pretty hot. We have some beaches going on, but yeah. <laughs> not, I mean, there's no mountains here, but how have you, keeping, uh, how have you been uh, keeping busy during the pandemic? Um, I've been, I mean, I really can't complain at all. I'm obviously very lucky to be able to, you know, still, you know, make music on my own. And, um, and, uh, yeah, I feel extremely fortunate, um, generally and like to be doing pretty good in like a time yeah. like this. Um, Have you picked up any new hobbies or? Um, a little bit. I have, I've gotten like I've gotten into gardening more. Oh, um, nice. So like uh, uh, right like at like a month or two into quarantine, uh, my lease was up. So I moved into like a bigger place with more space and stuff. And um, I was like, Fuck it, I'm going to I'm going to get my gardening on. So <laughs> my herb garden is popping. Um, so as far as like shows being canceled this year, obviously, how are you connecting with fans virtually? Um, well, I've, I've, I've tried to like level up like the, the communication in terms of being able to connect with fans. So, um, yeah. I'm on discord now. I'm trying to like have, like be more active on that. Um, I, you know, generally the way, the way that the, the, the my, me and my fans relationship is very much like me kind of just making stuff for them and making sure that they're getting like a bunch of stuff to enjoy um so i've just been on my on my terms of trying to 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 entertain them another question how has your musical production style changed from your first album to now i think i think i've definitely matured um yeah. since my first album um I think on my first album, I was kind of, uh, um, I think, I think what very often happens when you try to make something that is intended to either push the envelope or is supposed to, or, or push yourself or, or generally like in experimentation, I think it's very easy to do things for shock value where like you kind of make certain choices to be like, wow, I know they're going to be surprised about this thing. And I was like, well, that's not really experimenting. That's kind of, you know what I mean? Like, and I feel like I did that a lot on my first album where it's like, it's like, yeah, it's cool sounds and stuff, but a lot of it is, is kind of like abrupt and kind of like, wow, that was crazy for a second. And on this album, I wanted to still, because the whole point of why I'm an artist is to experiment, to try to push things further uh, and push myself further. And when, when I started this album, the idea was kind of how can I still experiment with stuff, but not just with the same stuff that we always experiment with. We always experiment with replacing sounds with other different weird sounds that you couldn't predict. We always experiment with, you know, contrast and kind of like explosive things. And I was like, can I experiment with having the chorus only happen once in a song and, but rather have three different choruses. Can I experiment with starting the song off with high energy and then ending the song with very low energy? Can I, can I cut this song off halfway through it and cut into the second half of another song, right? You know, so this is more yeah. like structural experimentation um, and also I think I've fallen more and more in love with vocal production, um, since my last album. So I've been playing much more with harmonies and writing stuff that like has like overlapping melodies and, you know, um, generally just been, been very excited about writing complex, like vocal harmonies, stuff like that talking about your new album that congrats um it's i've listened to a couple of them so they're really good um how do you say the name of the al album it's peter or p 
I, I, I usually just talk about it as Peter. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, just keeping it simple. Um, but how you would pronounce it in Norwegian uh, is Pedoch. Pedoch. Oh, yes. okay. <laughs> um, and interesting enough, I know that it, that's your real name, right? Yep. Um, mm -hmm. So the name of the album is your real name. Is this, I guess, more of a personal look into your life? It is. It's definitely, well, basically, so the kind of when I started the album, I made up this story mm -hmm. about a boy who lives on a spaceship. Um, and I kind of used that as like the like the general like guidelines for the album. Um, and um, so the so the story, the story is basically boy lives on a spaceship with no other humans. There is no music on his spaceship. He doesn't know what it is. And he accidentally stumbles across it. He gets caught in a storm and he sends out a mayday signal and he turns into like a pirate radio station. And he's like, whoa, what is music? So that was kind of like the guidelines for what I was trying to make mm -hmm. um, in terms of experimentation. Because I was like, if I didn't have context of what is experimental, if I didn't know what would surprise people or what people haven't done before if i didn't know the rules you know what i mean then i wouldn't care about breaking them yeah. so i was trying to i was trying to like channel that kid's like mentality in terms of like what would i do and what would i think would be fun if i didn't know the context if i didn't know any better yeah um so that you know that metaphor for that kid at the end of the day it's just the story of me growing up in the forest in Norway and feeling mad, isolated and far away from all the music happening. Yeah. So out and, and the internet was my only channel to American music. So I was discovering all of this incredible music through the internet with really very little context. I didn't really get the rules because nobody was really there to tell me what it was all about. So that's why I was kind of like, it makes sense for this to be called my original name because it's so based on like the mentality that i had growing up you know that's super super cool um okay describe 2020 in three words um unpredictable okay um um heavy and um growth nice those three yeah. were perfect okay four more questions <laughs> that's it oh, go crazy. Um, all right all right uh night in or night out uh night in okay early mm -hmm. riser or night owl <sighs> lately i've been both <laughs> um <laughs> but historically speaking i'm definitely the a night owl night owl okay dogs or cats um dogs okay what's worse laundry or dishes laundry nice. that's true yeah. same same here I, I actually really enjoy doing dishes but folding <laughs> laundry i can never get right me neither yeah I usually, especially taking it out i'm just like there yeah. it is my clothes okay yep yeah, that <laughs> um, well thank you so much for the for your time i no, really appreciate it it was really cool to talk to you and yeah Hopefully, I really we'll have many more. Absolutely. I love that. <laughs> Thank you so much. Great Thank question. You.